This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. Fourteen years ago, the gallery first began to document the contents of the estate of an artist named Nell Brooker Mayhew. In walked Frank with two large artist's portfolios tied with worn black ribbons and bursting with the life's work of this obscure woman artist. About her, the definitive source on California art recorded only this. And that was it. The sum total of what remained worth knowing about a woman who first exhibited at the Chicago Art Institute when she was 16. A woman who graduated with a college degree in the 19th century and went on to study further at two different universities. A woman who held a patent on an artistic process, who taught at Chouinard and at USC. A woman who owned her own gallery. A woman whose work stood far apart from those of her contemporaries and yet sold fairly well. Obscure? Hmm. Not terribly well listed, as we would say in the business. But that was a different time. I vaguely remember her daughters, Mary Jane and Nell. They were already in their late 80s and early 90s when I first came to know them. Frank knew them much better. In 2005, the gallery funded the research and writing of the first ever monograph on Nell Brooker Mayhew, which was published by Balcony Press. It was the gallery's second book. In 2009, the Illinois Women's Artists Project found one of our exhibition videos online and added it to their file of information on the artist. They too were making an effort to document the work of earlier women artists. In 2011, Mayhew's work was published in LA Rising, and within the last year she's been given a rather lavish spread in the new and authoritative compendium of California's women artists emerging from the shadows. Today, Mayhew is well documented in the literature, as we would say in the business. We, the staff at Sullivan Goss, have done numerous exhibitions in the meantime, going into that time-worn portfolio and selecting works for our custom framers, Chris Bailey and Chris Kierkegaard. We have watched as one of our heroes has become better and better known. And meanwhile, the works have sold and sold and sold. For this exhibition, however, I am excited to announce that we've finally gotten our hands on three of Mayhew's oil paintings straight from the family. These have been exceedingly rare. Balboa Pei, seen here, is listed in an early exhibition catalog from the first contemporary gallery to handle her work now 27 years ago. Cypress Shoreline and Eucalyptus Sunset will also be debuted. We've also gotten our hands on three color etchings that were misplaced and rediscovered. Gestural, lyrical, spontaneous, and so distinctive in the history of Southern California's art scene, Mayhew's exhibition of paintings and color etchings can be seen now through May 1st. Come see it.